Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Rumela and in today's video, I am going to share with you guys a skincare brand. Uh, now, the brand I am going to talk about is Good Vibes. Good Vibes is a skincare brand that's owned by Purple. Now, if you guys don't know what Purple is, it is a website and they also have an app. Um, like Nika where they sell a lot of uh, skincare, hair care and all of those products, uh, beauty products basically. Uh, now Purple also has a lot of uh, they are in-house uh, skincare and hair, uh, skincare, hair care and makeup brands. Uh, the few skincare brands are Good Vibes, then Purple has its own Purple named skincare brand, then uh, they have Alps Goodness that has a lot of these natural organic powders and all of that, you know, using skincare ingredients and they have uh, Stay Corky which is a makeup brand then NY Bay which is another makeup brand and they have a lot of these brands which are owned by Purple. Uh, so the most popular skincare brand of theirs is Good Vibes and a lot of Good Vibes product have been uh, raved about by a lot of YouTubers. There are also YouTubers that do not like the brand at all and there are people who rave about these products. Uh, so I thought of uh, giving a few uh, you know um, popular products a shot uh, to, uh, to test them out and give you guys my opinion uh, if they are a true. Now, I am a someone who does not like bashing any brand or um, you know anything directly. Now every brand has their own good and bad set of products. I believe that uh, no brand has all products that are bad and all products that are good. Uh, so Good Vibes is again one of those brands. There are a few things that I do like about the brand. It is that they have no parabens, no sulfates, no mineral oil uh, and it is also a cruelty free brand. Their packaging is also great. They are affordable uh, but they do add fragrance in all of their skincare products which might not be the best for sensitive, acne prone, irritated skin and all of that. Um, and they also add color which is again not really necessary. Now fragrance is okay now you, you want your products to smell good so that is why you add fragrance but what is the need to add color is uh, something i don't understand they do not have color in all of their products but they have put fragrance in all of their products uh, which is uh, something that i do not like that much i really have a normal skin so i can uh, test out a lot of skincare products uh, but if you have a really extremely sensitive skin that reacts to everything uh, then you might want to stay away from uh, this brand in general uh, but uh, for me um, it did not cause irritation or anything of that sort none of these products caused uh, any skin irritation or anything I did use them for three weeks uh, so um, and, uh, I did not have any negative side effects as such uh, and I have 11 products here with me which I am going to talk you guys through. Uh, so if you guys are interested then please keep on watching. Let's start with skincare first and then we will move on to hair care and I also have a body mist. Uh, so that will be at the end of the video. Now coming to the first product, it is the Good Vibes uh, Activated Charcoal uh, Deep Cleansing Face Wash. Uh, this is how the packaging looks. It comes with a pump uh, and it is a black color face wash. Uh, it has this uh, thick, kind of thick but runny consistency, uh, you know, in, in between very thick and runny. Uh, now, I did not get this face wash for myself. I got it for my sister because uh, this face wash is good for acne prone skin and she has acne prone skin. Uh, so, I got uh, this for her. Uh, but I did uh, test this out a couple of times because my skin and her skin is different. She did uh, like this product. Uh, but for me personally, I did not uh, like the product. It did not do anything great for me. It did not even cleanse my skin well for that matter. Uh, so uh, this one is definitely a miss from my side. One thing I like about this brand is that uh, they have no parabens, no sulfates and all of that. It is also a cruelty free brand and it's made in India. So definitely uh, if you are someone who supports vocal for local and you know supports Indian brands, uh, then you might want to test this brand. Uh, the next product I have here again is a face wash. It is the Good Vibes Lemon Brightening Foaming Face Wash. Now this is something that I got for myself uh, and I have been uh, using this non-stop since the day I got it. Not because I like it or something but because I wanted to give this a fair shot uh, and see if this one works. Um, 
now uh, this uh, face wash does have a glycolic acid it is i think the fifth or sixth ingredient uh, so that helps to exfoliate the dead skin and all of that but it did not do anything of that sort to my skin uh, it also says that it is a brightening face wash but it's um, you know it did not brighten my face or anything it just uh, cleansed my face now this is a foaming face wash so it is really gentle on the skin um but if you are wearing makeup then this will not cleanse your face it will not cleanse the makeup you will obviously have to remove the makeup with an oil based uh, makeup remover or micellar water or anything of that sort and then you can go in with the face wash uh, or uh, you can just use this to wash your face in the morning to get rid of a previous night skincare uh, this did uh, cleanse my face well like more than the activated charcoal one so i did not like the activated charcoal one but this was also an okay okay product i would not uh, repurchase is this uh, but i would definitely use this because i spent my money and got it so this is a like a 50% it's like not really bad but not really good as well uh the next product i have here is my favorite out of the lot it is the good vibes rose hip skin clarifying toner uh it comes in this in this spray bottle and you can just spritz this all over your face uh, you, i i also use this as a face mist and oh my god this is such a good product actually i got this uh, toner and a facial oil uh, which i will talk to you guys in a bit and both the products worked really well for me so i thought of giving uh, other products a shot now this one has a purified water as a first ingredient then it has rose hip oil uh, camellia extract coffee extract uh gratissima oil uh, and it has all a good ingredients uh, now this one also has a fragrance uh, which is um, the last ingredient it also has color which is something that i do not prefer uh, because this is something that uh, stays on the face for a long time uh, but uh, this one worked really well for me it gave my skin a nice glow uh, and also uh, made my face look really nice and bright and fresh and also made my skin look really hydrated now i will go on and on about this product because this is a, such a great product also this uh, retails for just 225 for uh, 200 ml uh, so that is oh sorry so that is really great there's one product that i would recommend from this entire uh, you know range of products that i got it would be the rose hip uh, toner uh, so the next product i have here is uh, the good vibes licorice brightening face mask uh, this is how it looks it comes in this uh, tub and um, it also has this lid uh, so this is how the product looks it is kind of a clay mask uh, now uh, this one uh, i have used this a couple of times and it did not do anything great to my skin it was like really okay now when i use homemade face masks they do give me instant results but this one did not do anything of that sort uh, now the ingredients on uh, this one is also really great it has aloe vera extract licorice extract green tree green tea extract mulberry extract kaolin clay almond oil and all of that uh, i think because of the clay uh, it It really cleanses my face now. After I uh, wash off this um, face mask, my skin looks really nice and clean. Uh, but it did not brighten my face or anything of that sort. Uh, so uh, I this is also an okay product. It's not uh, you know it's not a hit. for me uh, and i would definitely not repurchase so the next product i have here is the good vibes coconut brightening face cream uh, now i got everything brightening because i have uh, you know generally dull dehydrated skin actually it's really dehydrated and dry which makes it look dull and anything brightening instantly adds that boost of brightness to my face and that is why i really like you know anything brightening it really you know the word really attracts me <laughs> now this is is uh, a product that i really enjoy using uh, this is a definitely a nice face cream uh, now again this comes in with a lid like this and this is how the product looks it is uh, a really not very very thick but not very very uh, you know gel like as well it is really nice in consistency uh, this one smells really great it really smells like coconuts and it is so smooth and so 
uh, soft on the skin now when I apply this on my face after I have a shower it really makes my skin soft and smooth I also apply it on my uh, arms after I shave them uh, and it uh, makes my arms feel and look really soft and smooth so that is why I really like this one uh, the next product I have here is the good vibes a turmeric 100% pure essential oil uh, now essential oils are not really great for sensitive skin uh, since essential oils are really strong and potent uh, they might irritate a sensitive skin so if you have sensitive skin definitely stay away from all essential oils now coming to this one I did use this in my face mask the first time I used it I put four to five drops by mistake and it did burn uh, this area like I had a really burning sensation too so I took the face mask off uh, but when I tried this again I put only one drop I did try it a few times in a few different face masks and this worked really well for me it did brighten my face and all of that uh, but if you are um, someone with normal skin and you want to try essential oils make sure you use the tiniest amount one drop is enough uh, for a whole face mask uh, so if you guys are looking for a nice brightening oil then the turmeric essential oil is a great uh, the next product I have here is the good vibes plus Brazilian passion fruit and turmeric skin purifying and brightening uh, facial oil it also has 24k gold I don't know about that uh, but this is such a beautiful facial oil now I don't know about the skin purifying brightening part and all of that because I do not use this as a treatment um, oil uh, what I do is I use this underneath my foundation now I have really uh, dry skin uh, so what I do is after my skincare I take a few drops of this oil and apply it all over my face and I'll, you know let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes so that my skin looks really nice and hydrated and when I apply foundation over this oil uh, my foundation looks really natural and glowy and all of that uh, so I have been really enjoying uh, using this before my makeup uh, so that my makeup looks really natural when I do not apply this uh, my makeup uh, you know uh, clings onto my dry patches and all of that so I know this is a product that is uh, making my makeup look really nice so if you guys are looking for a nice facial oil uh, to apply before your foundation then I would highly recommend this facial oil so the next product I have here is the good vibes vitamin C and vitamin B3 uh, skin glow facial oil this is my worst purchase out of the lot guys I don't know why the serum did not work at all for me uh, I tried it five to six times uh, but this did not work for me at all when I used it at night the next morning my skin looked really dry and dull and even darker than it actually is uh, first I thought it's because of the layering and all of that so I tried it again and again and again and again and it's the same thing uh, I even uh, tried this on its own uh, because I thought maybe the other products are reacting with with this but this is a product that uh, you know was making me look darker than I'm, than I actually am it was making my skin look really dull and bad so I stopped using this altogether now I don't know why that happened to me uh, because uh, this product uh, has uh, I'll read out the ingredient list for you guys it has ascorbic acid that's vitamin C then it has glycolic acid lactic acid licorice extract mulberry extract niacinamide orange extract uh, but this one made my skin look so bad dull dehydrated and all of that so if you guys are thinking of getting this serum then just do not do not waste your money on this uh, so those were all the face products now coming to the hair products uh, the first product I have here is the good vibes plus argan and vitamin E uh, the frizz free serum now this is a hair serum uh, so I use it obviously after I wash my hair on damp hair I just take a few uh, pumps of this like two or three pumps and apply it on my hair now this uh, does make a great difference to my frizz, uh, frizzy hair uh, it tames all of the frizzes and makes my hair look really nice and smooth um, a live on uh, does not work for me so I have uh, stopped using that it does not work for my hair uh, I don't know why uh, but this serum really did uh, make my hair uh, you know feel and look really Really nice and smooth uh, so that is something that I really like uh, the next product I have here is the good vibes uh, cold press castor oil um, this is again something that I really like uh, I use this uh, for my eyelashes every night my sister also uses this and we both have seen a tremendous difference in our uh, eyelash growth uh, since we started using this uh, now uh, one thing that I don't like about a few uh, products of good vibes is that they mention only key ingredients now the key ingredient is castor oil but I don't know what all uh, they have uh, put in this uh, this one has only key ingredients so that is something that really saddens me I think we as 
customers should have access uh, to every ingredient that goes uh, in our skincare and hair care products and all uh, of that. So the last product I have here is the Good Vibes White Mask Body Mist. Uh, this is something that I got free uh, when I got a few products. I also got a travel size activated charcoal uh, face wash and a travel size banana conditioner when I got all of these products. Uh, so they do give a free travel size products when you buy, you know, uh, products above a certain rate, a certain amount. Uh, so that is how I got this. And now this is a good body mist. It is not too overpowering now. I know the fragrance of white mist, white musk, uh, because I have other perfumes that have white musk in it. Uh, so this one is good. Uh, it is not something that I would go ahead and purchase. But, uh, you know, since I got it free, I have been using this and really enjoying it. Uh, so those were all the products that I had and those were my honest opinion about those products. Um, some products did work for me, some products did not work for me. Uh, so that is the case with a lot of brands uh, when it comes to me. So that is the case with all the brands, even Mama Earth, a few products did work for me, a few products did not work for me. Uh, so Good Vibes is not a bad brand, but they have a few products that are not so great. Uh, so I don't think I will be buying a lot of Good Vibes product, uh, but I would definitely buy the Rose Hip, um, toner and also that facial oil, which I absolutely, absolutely love. That is it for the video guys. Those were my honest opinion about all of the Good Vibes products that I've tried. Uh, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, then please give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!